The bus stop is supposed to be a safe place for kids, but when drivers choose not to follow rules regarding school buses, the consequences can be deadly. One Indiana state senator has spent years proposing a bill that would hold these rule violators accountable. Nicole Christine joins us now with more on that bill. Nicole. And it's Senator Eric Bassler from uh, District 39, and he's been working to get the green light on this bill for several years, uh, a bill which would make it easier for drivers who ignore the red lights on school buses to be caught and forced to face the consequences. No matter where you live in Indiana, the chances of encountering a school bus are pretty high. There are thousands of school buses in Indiana, and they're all over the place, country roads and in and, and towns and suburban areas and neighborhoods. But the prevalence of buses does not mean that people are obeying rules surrounding school bus safety. And when someone violates a rule, the only person who can catch them is a police officer at the scene. And how likely is it that a police officer is going to be at that location at that time to see that violation? This is where State Senator Eric Bassler's proposed bill would come into play. The bill would allow three classes of people, bus drivers, school bus monitors who are on the bus with the driver, and crossing guards to fill out sworn affidavits if they see a violation. It would give the police probable cause to summons that person to court. Still not guilty. That person shows up in court and they have their day in court. The bill would also classify violations as a misdemeanor. Currently, most are considered traffic violations. I'm of the opinion that someone running, violating a school bus stop arm is of a more significant nature than someone that's going 65 in a 55 mile an hour zone. Indiana is all too familiar with the significance of these violations as police accuse a woman in Rochester of disregarding a school bus stop arm, killing three children. What is it going to take for them to do something? Is it going to take one of those little kids getting hit? Senator Bassler says that he believes the tragedy may cause lawmakers to consider his bill more than before. And you'd hate to think it takes a tragedy for for people to take action, but maybe this is an example of, of where uh, something good comes out of something that was really bad. Senator Bassler says there are other senators working towards similar bills, and he could see them possibly joining together to create one all-encompassing bill to be put up for vote. And I understand that that uh, giving the guards and uh, you know the people who are mm -hmm. on the bus as well the, bu bus the drivers, right to yeah. do this, they can't take that power lightly. No, and you know, signing a sworn affidavit is right. a serious thing to do. Right. And if it were determined that the report was false or that the driver or guard was dishonest, right. that would be perjury. So Ooh. people can be assured that these allegations will be taken seriously because there's a lot on the line if you're lying. If you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, Nicole, thank you. Very good.